and Malaysian Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin's government could be under threat again. UMNO is allegedly asking all its MPs to quit to try to force a general election. Now for a closer look at Malaysian politics, we're joined by Adib Zalkapli. He's director of Bauer Group Asia. Good evening. New Year, new problems for Malaysia's Prime Minister all over again. Tell us what this sacking of Barisan Nasional Secretary General Anwar Musa, what does it mean for the Prime Minister now? Well, I think based on the development in AMNO and in the uh, coalition government over the last uh, few months, uh, it was obvious that uh, Anwar Musa was uh, uh, on, his, on his way out. The sacking of Anwar Musa is actually a uh, manifestation of the uh, uh, wishes of the grassroots uh, that want to want the party to distance itself uh, from the administration. And Anwar Musa being a member of the administration is seen by the uh, grassroots to be rather uh, aggressive uh, in defending the prime minister, in defending the uh, Perikatan National Coalition, because I think he has also... Uh, has to uphold the principle of uh, collective responsibility as a member of the cabinet. Uh, what this means to the prime minister, I mean, it has uh, weakened him in a way uh, because uh, with Anwar Musa no longer the secretary general of BN, uh, he has lost a very senior uh, BN office bearer uh, in his cabinet. So if this is a loss for Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin, what does it mean then that Ahmad Amaslan has been sort of placed to take the place of Mr. Anwar. Why him? Well, Ahmad Maslan is, I mean, firstly, he's uh, well-liked by uh, Amno Grassroots. Uh, and most importantly, he's not in the cabinet. Uh, so he does not have to uphold the uh, principle of, of, of uh, collective uh, responsibility of the, of the cabinet, uh, unlike Anwar Musa or, for that matter, any members of, of, of the administration. So uh, Dr. Ahmad Maslan is uh, free uh, to independently execute the wishes uh, of the grassroots, which may include uh, you know, undermining the prime minister, undermining the prime minister's party uh, as part of uh, AMNO's uh, preparation for the next uh, general election. Mr. Zalkapli, give us your take on this. We're hearing that AMNO has issued this uh, alleged order calling for its ministers to step down. That, of course, would force an election. Can you tell us more? Well, I'm no leadership is essentially uh, divided between those who are in the cabinet and those who are not in the cabinet. I mean, uh, it wouldn't be easy for those in the, in the cabinet to resign uh, simply because it's not easy to give up powers. You know? uh, but for those not in the cabinet, uh, they have nothing to lose. Uh, so they would like perhaps to uh, call for general election uh, as soon as possible. Uh, general election, I think for a lot of uh, AMNO leaders, general election is the only way uh, for the party uh, to return to power, uh, to return as the uh, senior member of the ruling coalition like in the past. And if Mr. Mohidin has been trying to hold his coalition together, is this going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back? Are we headed for an election? Well, this is uh, definitely one uh, uh, one step, uh, one of the many steps uh, before uh, AMNO can cause the collapse of the uh, federal government. Uh, the removal of the uh, Secretary General is a very significant step. Uh, a few days ago, we saw the uh, resignation uh, from a statutory body by by a by an AMNO MP. So it's uh, it's still uh, there's still many steps. Uh, we will see, uh, I think AMNO Supreme Council will be meeting tomorrow, I guess, to deliberate on the uh, party's position in the government. Uh, so we'll, it, it won't happen overnight, but it will take some time before I think AMNO can uh, fully uh, implement the wishes of the grassroots as we saw over the weekend when uh, I think a large number of the party branches uh, voted uh, for the party to stay out of the uh, ruling coalition. We know that there's been plenty of toing and froing with this coalition, but why is this happening now specifically? What's the trigger behind it? Well, we can uh, only uh, speculate. Uh, I think partly because uh, the budget has been passed. You know, uh, if, if uh, there's 
any uh, failure to run the government smoothly due to the failure to pass the budget, I think uh, AMNO will not be blamed for it. Uh, and also, with the budget, with the opposition to the budget led by the opposition front, this also uh, enables AMNO to act uh, independent of the uh, opposition coalition. So I guess in terms of timing, I mean, there can never be a perfect timing. Uh, I, I guess now is much better than uh, when parliament was uh, deliberating on the budget uh, two months ago. Uh, many, many thanks, Adib, for your thoughts this evening. Adib Zalkapi, Director of Bauer Group Asia.